Hey there guys, it's Jess. As you might be able to tell by now, this is not me actually talking on the video. We recorded this entire video for you. And then after we took the camper back to Myrtle Beach, we realized that the cord for the audio going to the microphone had gone bad and there was no audio. But we know these guys still really wanted to see our camper that we still have. So I am doing a voiceover and hopefully all this makes sense because I know you really wanted to see the camper. For those of you guys that are new to our channel, my name is Jess and we are family of nomads. We lived in our RV for three years and traveled the country and we recently bought a house. We sold the RV that we were living in, but we still had another RV, this RV that you see right here, and we used to live in it, but we kept it because it's smaller than the other one. And so this is the RV that we are going to be keeping for our family's future travels. This is a grand design solitude. It's a 40 foot camper. And we did actually live in this RV for about a year and a half. So what the girls and I are doing is when we moved into our house, we had a whole bunch of stuff that specifically was for the camper. So we actually packed up all that stuff and we brought it to the camper because when we want to go on a camping trip, we want to make sure that we are just ready to go. And the only thing we need to bring is our food and clothes and like blankets and sheets, that sort of thing. So we are basically just getting our camper set up for when we are ready to have our, you know, next set of travels. We don't have anything specific planned right now. We're still like really adjusting to house life, but we're thinking about going to Florida in December to go visit some of our friends that travel full-time because most of them will be there. So the girls and I brought some stuff to make some lunch and do s'mores and roast some marshmallows while we were at the camper to have, have a little like camping moment. And while we were doing that, I want to take a second to thank Progressive for sponsoring this video. A couple of weeks ago on our Instagram, we asked you guys if you had any questions about our RV insurance with Progressive. And with the help of Progressive, we wanted to answer a few of those questions. So question number one, did you have to get a certain insurance deal because you lived in your RV? The answer to that question is no. You have to add full-timers coverage, which is basically just coverage specifically for people living full-time in their RV since the RV is used more frequently than the average part-timer or weekender. It is really great because it provides excellent coverage and huge peace of mind when you are living in your RV full-time. You can learn more about the different progressive RV coverages by visiting progressive.com slash RV. We found that having full-timers coverage was super important when we were living in an RV, but we don't need that specific coverage now that we are not full-timing anymore. Question number two, does progressive cover personal belongings or aftermarket equipment? Answer to that question is yes, it is optional coverage, but it does depend on the motorhome or RV. Progressive offers a variety of coverage and is very simple to get a quote online at progressive.com slash RV. Question number three, how much is it in comparison to homeowner's insurance? I will say that it drastically varies on the RV and the house. Obviously, that can tremendously vary on the size, year, and value of each, but you can get a quote at progressive.com slash RV, which we highly re recommend checking out. Overall, we have had a really great experience with Progressive. We have loved our insurance on both of our RVs, and whether you are full-timing or part-timing, I highly recommend just getting a, a quote from Progressive. The customer service is incredible, and the coverage gives us a huge peace of mind, and you may save some money too. So thank you so much again to Progressive for sponsoring this video. And we are going to finish this video out with a little tour of our current camper. All right, so this is Grace. She's gonna give us a little rundown tour of the entire camper. It was kind of cool like coming back in here because we actually haven't been in this camper in about a year and a half. And we were really impressed that even though this camper is smaller, that the kitchen is a lot bigger we, than the other camper that we were living in. We did love the other camper more, the Cyclone, but this one was a pretty nice camper to live in. 
We did, however, really miss this big pantry. The cyclone did not have that. The kitchen in this one was far superior, but everything else was superior in the cyclone. And then we were trying to like remember where we stored everything. And it was kind of actually a little bit difficult to remember, but this camper does have quite a bit of storage. I'm pretty sure we store like our homeschool books up here. And these were like our junk drawers, which is not something that we necessarily had like in the cyclone. There was a ton of storage for our dishes. It's so cool to like see our stuff back in the cabinets again. Um, we've actually been like letting some friends and family use this camper while we were living in the other one. Plus it kind of just like sat for a little bit. So we really haven't seen it in a long time. The kids really loved seeing their room again. Grace was like reminding me that this used to be Addison's bed and the little area over there that she's pointing to like on the side that's actually where Addison's hamster used to live and he actually passed away sadly like while we were living in this camper but it was really sad and this was Grace's room she missed her little like cubby area and then she was very impressed that the curtains were still there because we loved those curtains and this is where she hung her stuffed animals she was really surprised that that was still there too and honestly i was really surprised to see that there as well it's so crazy that we lived in this camper for three years like this is where our kids grew up it was so crazy it's so crazy so this actually used to be tj's bed and grace was very surprised that his stuffed animal holder was there too and we were trying to remember like where the kids like stored all of their stuff and there's this cabinet over here to the side, which is where the kids stored their clothes. So we think we remember the big one over to the right was Addison's. And then the top, the bottom one was TJ's and the top two on this left side are Grace's. We think that we remember this. And then the left two drawers are TJ's and then the right two drawers were Grace's. All right, so the next room Grace is gonna show us is the half bath that the kids had in the camper. Now this bathroom was a little bit bigger than the other bathroom um, and the kids had a little bit more space to like move around in the bathroom, but that's pretty much the only thing that's bigger about the kids area. We did have so much storage in this camper. Like now that like after we like got into this camper, we realized like how much storage, but we had more space in the in the cyclone so that's why we like that one more and this one is it's still 40 feet but it's still seven feet like shorter than the other than the other one and then this is our bathroom it's a pretty decent sized bathroom again with the storage and then finally the master bedroom with our like awesome mattress i love this mattress dresser um, I could not remember which side was mine and which side was Dubs, but Grace said that mine was on the left side and, and Dubs was on the right, so I don't know. And then our master closet, which still has the washer and dryer in there that we used when we were traveling. So like that's gonna be really nice when we go on trips again because we loved having the washer and dryer. So, all right, we will see you guys next time. We post a new video every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, even though this was a weird video. Bye guys.